Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Today we're going to have a look at port security. So the purpose of port security is either to limit the number of MAC addresses you can learn on a port or to manually configure what MACs are allowed on a port um, and stop anything above and beyond that. So um, when a violation occurs, you can take one of two actions. Either you can shut a port down or restrict all the Macs above and beyond that. So one of the most useful features of port security is it stops users from bringing in, you know, a hub or a switch from home or more, more commonly an access point. They plug that access point into your network and start giving out addresses to all kinds of potentially external users and exposing your network to, to the outside world without security on it. So what we can do is if we turn on port security, by default, it limits it to one MAC address. So if I plug in an access point, it'll learn the MAC of the access point, and then anything above and beyond that, by default, is gonna cause the port to shut down, it's gonna send out a syslog message, and it's gonna send out an SNMP trap to say a violation occurred. And that port does not come back up until the administrator manually disables and re-enables that port. Um, so the, uh, the other option is you can restrict it, right? So you can say, allow for the first X number of Macs, and then anything above and beyond that, we're going to uh, drop their traffic, right? Rather than shutting the port down and, and being so disruptive. Okay, so we could configure port security in really three different ways, two ways. So one is we can do it globally, right? So it affects all the ports on the switch. We could do it on a per port basis, or we could do it globally and then override with the per port. So for example, your uplinks probably don't just have one Mac or two Macs on them. They probably have, you know, dozens, maybe hundreds of Mac addresses, right? And so if I just turn on port security on all the ports and it's set to one Mac address and shut down, it's immediately going to shut down your uplinks. It's going to shut down, you know, any port that you have a phone and a PC connected to. It's going to learn two Macs and shut it down. Um, you know, VMware servers or, or any sort of virtualization server where you've got multiple virtual Macs, those are all going to get shut. So those you probably want to either override if you're doing globally or just be very careful on a per port basis where you turn this on, right? Or where you set, what you set that maximum number of Macs to. So from a global perspective, let's have a look at what it does first. So we'll do a show port security, right? And so by default, out of the box, here's all my ports. Port security is disabled on all the ports, right? It's violation, so if a violation occurs, if it hits the maximum number of MAC addresses, it's going to shut that port down, right? The shutdown time is permanent, so it's not going to retry. You can set that. You can say, you know, after five minutes, retry and see if the other MACs have gone away or the users corrected the problem. Um, but by default, it's going to permanently shut it down, and when it does that, it sends a syslog and an SNMP. Uh, the age time, so it's going to disable MAC aging on the port, right? So permanent, you can set that. And then lastly, by default, it's going to set a maximum MAC of one. So it'll learn the first MAC. If it learns a second MAC on that port, it takes the violation action, which is to shut it down permanently. Okay. So to configure it, we go to config T. We go into the port security subcontext. So config-port-security tells us we're in that, that subcontext. And then what can we do here? Well, we can set the age, right? So we can turn the age timer back on if you want to age those secure Macs out after a period of time. You can do uh, auto save. I'll come back to that in a second. You can enable, you have to enable port security. It's disabled by default. We can set the maximum number of Macs. Remember it's one by default. Uh, we could set the, a secure MAC address. So if you wanted to manually type in MACs that are allowed on a per port basis, you can do that, right, uh, or globally. Um, and so if I had, you know, a server connected to a port, you know, and I know it's always going to be there, um, I can set those manually. So this is where the auto save comes in. So rather than me manually saving those or manually typing in those those secure addresses, I can turn on auto save, which what it's going to do is as it learns max on the ports, it's going to automatically put those into the running config and then save them on a scheduled basis if you wish to do so. Right. So every 10 minutes or 20 minutes, it's going to it's going to write that that um, those learn max into the startup config. So next time, so you don't have to manually add all those uh, secure max should you wish to do so. Generally, you don't need to do that. But 
and then lastly we have a violation down here so this is what happens in the event of a violation right so by default it shuts the port down but you can set that to restrict and say so the first mac is okay or whatever your maximum is right beyond that it's going to drop the traffic from those ports so it's not going to shut the port down it's it, but it's it's um slightly less disruptive so first what we're going to do is i'm going to actually enable it uh, no before i do that i want to set the um set the violation so violation to uh we're going to set it to restrict instead of shutdown Okay, so um, going back and looking at show port security, it is now, instead of it saying shutdown here in the violation, it now says restrict, and there's no shutdown time because it's not shutting the port down, it's restricting traffic from those uh, max above one we learned on a per port. Okay, so then we're gonna enable it on all the ports. We'll just do a global enable, right? So it's now enabled on all the ports. It's set to restrict if it learns more than one Mac. It's got no shutdown timer it's permanent uh, aging so it's not going to age those max out and maximum one so uh, if i know my switch i should have just seen some violations occur so if i look at the log here i got a whole bunch of port security uh, violations that just occurred right so i turn that on port 2 1 slash 1 slash 2 learned a whole bunch of mac addresses right so these are all violating addresses right now and port 1 1 11 learned a violating address so there there's it the first address it learned was good right it was not a violation everything above and beyond that was okay so we can look at um if we do a show port security um well we'll just do a por show port security first okay and then Let's look at um, Mac. Um, we'll just look at all the Macs. So these are the secure Macs, right? So these are these are the ones that are secured and they're not shut down, right? So these are the ones that did not shut the port down. Okay, so those are those ones are good. They were the first one learned on a per port basis. Um, we can also look on a on a per port basis. So show port security. Uh, Ethernet one slash one slash two, and then we can look at the restricted max. So these are all the ones that are failing, right? Um, and there's an age count on them, but it doesn't matter. They're never going to age out. It's just how long we we haven't seen traffic for. So these are all restricted max. So none of these are going to be allowed to talk on the ports, right? Um, okay. So then we can also look at stats, for example. Um, so show port security stat, uh, we can do it on a per port basis or we can look at it globally. So from one slash one slash one to one slash one slash 24, so there's 24 ports here, we have two MAC addresses and 39 violations that occurred, right? Uh, one slash two slash one to one slash two slash eight, um, we haven't had any violations occur during the time period. Um, so let's um, let's change the, the um, change the violation to shut down and see what happens. Okay. So we'll change our violation to shut down instead of restrict. So if I do a show port security again, whoop. okay. So my violation is now gone over to shutdown. It's age time is permanent. Um, so then it's still set to one Mac, right? So we expect to see things being shut down here. So show port security, um, Mac, right? So we have one slash one slash two is now shut down and it's permanent, right? So it's permanently been shut down because there's been a violation. And now we just see one one eleven, so it just learned that second Mac on one one eleven. So those two guys are both permanently shut down. Okay. Uh, if we look in the logs, we should see that happen, right? So we should see yet one one eleven was shut down due to port security violation. Um, and 112 got shut down due to port security violations. So we saw that occur. Um, and um, yep, so, so that occurred there. And then if we look at the running config, right, what you're gonna see, this is interesting, is these ports one slash one slash two actually got permanently disabled, right? So if you wanna re-enable that, you have to go to that interface and do an enable right and it's also learned a mac address here so it learned a secure mac address on that port um 
and so it learned one before it shut the port down okay so if we set the maximum to say 10 um, we actually have to go in one slash one slash two and re-enable that port before that's going to happen then once that re-enables we're going to learn There we go. So now it's learning extra max. So right. So I set the maximum max to 10. So it's going to learn all those up until 10. So um, so if I do a write mem, right, so, or I turn on the auto save, it's going to automatically save those max into the startup configuration. And so next time the machine boots up, those will be the loud max on the port. So it just stops me from having to securely type in all those secure max if that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. So. Um, that's it for today. Handy little feature, um, you know, stops rogue access points, stops, you know, um, things from happening on your network that you are outside of your control. So either it can shut that port down and you, you know, you can wait for that user to call the help desk or um, you can, you know, just restrict the traffic from those additional Macs, however you want to do it. But easy to configure and uh, a good thing to have in your network. That's it for today. Thanks very much.